okay so good morning everyone in our last session we have discussed about the fragments right and in that we have seen one example that how you can call the fragment from the activity right so in activity we took two buttons and one by one we call a fragments by clicking on that button right so today we are going to see one another example right and this is the advanced little bit different from the previous today we are going to see how the fragment can communicate with the fragment okay so as we know that fragment is also known as the sub activity okay so how you can navigate from one fragment to another fragment or how you can pass the value to one fragment to another fragment okay so sometimes it is necessary so again in the ui portion what you need to do whenever you create a new project then we have activity main.xml and main activity right so here today in this example we are going to take two fragments right in our main activity we don't have any ui okay here yesterday we saw that how you can take how you can add the fragment so wherever your java folder is there your java files resides so again right click on it new fragment and fragment blank right so here you can give the name first fragment okay right so this way you can create so here you can see that first fragment i have already given a name so it tells me that fragment name must be unique so you can't assign a same name second time so here you can give a third fragment okay then there is no issue and when you click on a finish then one java file is going to be added and in a drawable uh, in a layout folder one xml file is going to be added now so this is the particular thing how you can add the fragment into your project now today we are going to discuss about the fragment to fragment so today we going to touch the fragment files so first of all this is the coding area of the particular fragment so in a fragment i took one edit text and one button okay so whatever thing i'm going to add so that will be passed to the another fragment okay so in a same way whatever text i want to display in a second fragment so for that i need to take one another text view so in that text view uh, my text from the edit text will be displayed from the first fragment okay so this is about the ui portion so again i am repeating in a first fragment you need to take one edit text this is one simple demo and one button you have to take whatever you text you are typing in a edit text that will be displayed in the second fragment so to display the content we took text view okay now first of all here as we are going for the dynamic way you have to take a frame layout in main activity dot xml file right so here why we took this frame layout because we want to replace fragments dynamically at the runtime okay and we want to do the stuff at the runtime dynamically that's why we need to take a frame layout now in a main activity dot java how you can get that fragments so here in our activity main under uh, activity underscore main xml file we don't have any ui but whenever i execute the code let me execute the code so by default a first fragment will be displayed in my activity so you can see once my application is installed and it is launched first time then you will see some ui so this ui i have not drawn in the 
activity main underscore uh, activity underscore main XML file. So from where that particular thing comes, so it comes, it loads the fragment underscore first dot XML file at the start, right? So how you can achieve that, right? So here you need to understand this get support fragment manager. So yesterday we wrote some line in our fragment, uh, main activity dot Java file. So similarly today we are going to display a first fragment on main activity. So for that you need to write this line get support fragment manager. Okay. So what is the use of it? Return the fragment uh, manager for interacting with fragments associated with this activity, right? So which fragment right now associated with the activity? So first fragment. So for that you need to write dot begin transaction dot add. So here we are adding our first fragment where to our main container. So I have given the name to our things here main container frame layout main container so may, uh, the first one add where i need to add so i need to add at the main container what i need to add so new first fragment right and commit is compulsory so dot commit here guys uh, you can write these things in a three four lines also and you can also write these things in a one line also right so it's up to the developer so what is the job of this line the job of this line is it will add your first fragment to the main activity right now. This is our first fragment dot Java file. So actual task we have to perform over here. So here what we are going to perform that whatever text we are writing in edit text that I want to send to the second fragment. So yesterday I show you that once you add the fragment, then some demo codes will be there. So you have to remove all that particular code. But remember that here you have to create a view. One method is there so that you have to keep as it is. One constructor will be there so that you have to keep as it is and rest of the things you can delete, right? So you can easily uh, later on differentiate between your file and this coding file, right? So now what do you have to do over here? We have to first of all create the instance of our class button and edit text. This line is totally generated automatically. You don't need to write it right according to your things. This particular piece of code is generated automatically. You don't you don't need to uh, change anything, right? Second thing, if it is a different then change according to this. What is the job of this particular line that it inflate the layout for this fragment? OK, so it inflate the free layout for this particular fragment. Now. View dot find view by ID R dot ID dot buttons and. Because we are using this object over here and we are in the fragment, right? So you have to write this view dot find view by ID and view dot find view by ID for the edit text. This is a little change over here. Now the second thing is whenever I click on a button, then I want to send the text. So for that I need to set the on click listener on a button. So btn dot set on click listener. This is a very similar code you have already done this public void on click. Now here we are going to use a bundle, right? So bundle we have already discussed in our previous sessions, right? So if you want to send something, if you want to pass something, then you can use a bundle class. So you can see over here mapping from string keys to various parsable values. So first of all, you have to create a bundle object, right? I'm writing a very basic basic code as you are writing in a Java, so you will understand in a easy way. Bundle dot put string. So here I want to send something, right? So it insert a string value into mapping of this bundle and replacing any existing value 
for the given key right so here one thing you need to remember whenever you are using this you have to provide a key value right comma actual value what you want to pass so here edit text whatever value i am writing in a edit text that i want to pass so how you can fetch it so edit text dot get text method so with the use of it you can fetch the text from the edit text and you have to convert it so dot to string okay now you have to create the instance of a second fragment so second fragment fragment is equals to new second fragment right now fragment dot set arguments so you have to pass the argument as a bundle and that will be uh, getting in a second file that is second fragment dot java file right here assert so uh, assert is exception handling one of the method of exception handling so you know the exception handling there is a one way you can use a try catch right and the second thing you can also use a assert right so for exception assert is going to use like this so you have to write assert get uh, get fragment manager not equal to null if the fragment manager not equal to null then do this what i want to perform so I, i want to perform i want to replace my first so here you can see that here i want to replace in a first main activity dot java i added right so you can understand the, the uh, different methods which we are using okay with the use of transactions so get fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace what i want to replace so by main container and the fragment dot commit so i want to put my second fragment over there now the second part how you can catch the value from here into the second fragment so here is the code for that again you have to remove the whatever inbuilt code you have and you just need to keep this second fragment and you just need to keep this three lines okay now this is our code so in this ui we have only one control and that is a text view so text view tv and here again you need to find it by id so view dot find view by id and i have given the name that is tv message right now again here i need to use the bundle so whatever arguments i have set over here using a set arguments that i can catch it over here by using a get arguments okay so bundle again i need to create the object this dot get arguments okay and here i need to store that data somewhere so how i can store the data so with the use of one variable and the type of that variable is a string right now bundle dot get string so you can understand in fragment 1 we have used a put string and here we have used the get string right so with the use of key we can fetch the particular value and stored in our data variable okay now with the use of set text property we can set a particular value into our text view and you have to return the view okay so if you perform this much then let's execute the code and see how our application is behaving so here suppose i am writing welcome to fragment right and if i send sorry spelling mistake is there okay again i am running it you can use like your phone right
so you can see that it sends our string to the second fragment okay are we clear guys is there any doubt in this code anyone okay so like this yes anyone no sir okay so like this you can send some data from one fragment to another fragment or you can call one fragment to another fragment okay that's it guys uh, this is in our fragment section okay there are lots of other stuff or things you can perform but uh, we don't have that much time to elaborate all the things right so according to your requirement you can search for it and you can perform it are we clear with this guys right so this is one simple example demo uh, i have discussed